hello everyone in this video we'll be discussing about a process whose name is photorespiration this occurs only in c3 plants and this process is called as wasteful process so let us find out why it is called wasteful so let's start the discussion with the first step of kelvin cycle we know that kelvin cycle has three steps the first step is of carboxylation in which carbon dioxide molecule fuses with a 5 carbon containing keto sugar whose name is ribulose bisphosphate and will result into the formation of two molecules of 3 phosphoglyceric acid which is a 3 carbon containing organic acid and this whole reaction of carboxylation that is first reaction of kelvin cycle is catalyzed by an enzyme called as rubisco whose full form is ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase so this is only written here in the text that carbon dioxide is fixed with rubp that is ribulose bisphosphate a 5 carbon containing keto sugar and it lead to formation of two molecules of 3 phosphoglyceric acid also called as 3 pga this is the primary carbon dioxide fixation product of c3 plants what is the primary carbon dioxide fixation product of c4 plants that is oxaloacetic acid oaa a four carbon containing organic acid now what is happening that this reaction is catalyzed by rubisco we have already discussed the full form ribulose bisphosphate carboxylase oxygenase and this enzyme is a special enzyme because it can function both as carboxylase and oxygenase but what is that defining factor which will tell rubisco to function as carboxylase or oxygenase it is on the amount of carbon dioxide or oxygen present in the surrounding because rubisco enzyme has a best friend called as oxygen when so ever rubisco will find oxygen he will always behave like oxygenase but if you create a condition where carbon dioxide levels are way too high then rubisco is forced to behave like carboxylase enzyme and if rubisco behaves like carboxylase enzyme it is very productive but when it behaves like oxygenase enzyme it leads to a wasteful process of photorespiration so in photorespiration you can see that rubisco will always function like oxygenase now what is happening in c3 plants that some oxygen is binding to rubisco enzyme and now this enzyme behaves like oxygenase here in this reaction you can see ribulose bisphosphate a 5 carbon containing keto sugar binds with oxygen and lead to formation of only one molecule of 3 phosphoglyceric acid along with a molecule of phosphoglycolate and whenever you hear the term photorespiration only one compound should strike your mind and that is phosphoglycolate this is formed when rubp combines with oxygen because now rubisco is functioning as oxygenase but if it functions like carboxylase what will happen this RUBP would combine with carbon dioxide and lead to formation of two molecules of 3 phosphoglyceric acid in contrast to of only one molecule being formed when it combines with oxygen now what is the thing that in photorespiration that is when RUBP that is ribulose bisphosphate is forced to combine with oxygen because here the enzyme rubisco is behaving like oxygenase and it will lead to formation of one molecule each of 3 phosphoglyceric acid and one molecule of phosphoglycolate here you can see that neither the synthesis of sugar that is glucose and nor the synthesis of atp that is the energy currency is occurring therefore and also it results in the release of carbon dioxide with utilization of energy how can you say a process useful when the plant is releasing outside carbon dioxide instead of oxygen and plant is not able to synthesize glucose and also plant is using the energy made during the process of photosynthesis 
therefore because of these three reasons glucose not formed energy consumed carbon dioxide released instead of oxygen these three processes make this photorespiration a wasteful process therefore we call that photorespiration is a wasteful process now what is happening in c4 plants why are these plants not undergoing the process of photorespiration we already know that c4 plants the example is maize and sorghum here photorespiration will not occur why because here the enzyme rubisco is forced to behave like carboxylase and i told you how this enzyme will behave like carboxylase only when you will increase the amount of carbon dioxide in its surrounding and c4 plants were very intelligent as they did this increase increment in carbon dioxide concentration around this enzyme because inside c4 plants rubisco is present in bundle sheath cells and inside bundle sheath cells if you have not seen the video of hatch and slack pathway do check that video also there i have discussed that in hatch and slack pathway in bundle sheath cells the malic acid and aspartic acid which were sent from the mesophyll cells are broken down that is the reaction of decarboxylation and carbon dioxide is released there and that carbon dioxide released inside bundle sheath cells increase in its concentration and inside bundle sheath cells only we have rubisco enzyme therefore carbon dioxide concentration is increased where rubisco is present and ultimately rubisco is forced to behave like carboxylase and here you can see that at the rubisco enzyme site carbon dioxide concentration is increased in c4 plants therefore in c4 plants rubisco enzyme which is present in bundle sheath cells always behave like carboxylase as we have discussed the four carbon containing acids which are malic acid and aspartic acids are sent to bundle sheath cells where they undergo decarboxylation reaction carbon dioxide molecule is released and stored in bundle sheath cells and which lead to the formation of three carbon containing acid which is sent back to mesophyll cells where this leads to regeneration of phosphoenol pyruvate this is all covered under the topic of hatch and slack pathway you can see that video so the carbon dioxide release ensures that carbon this enzyme rubisco functions like carboxylase only and therefore if rubisco functions like carboxylase you will have higher productivity because then rubp that is five carbon containing keto sugar will bind with carbon dioxide only and that will lead to the formation of two molecules of three phosphoglyceric acid and here this will lead to the formation of energy currency along so and also carbon dioxide would not be released and glucose would be formed therefore c4 plants were intelligent by taking a long loop to enter the kelvin cycle whereas c3 plants use the shortcut to enter the kelvin cycle just immediately and therefore led to the wasteful process of photorespiration hope you like this video do check my other content also and i will upload these notes on my telegram channel do visit my channel also thank you for watching this video till the end